predictable price action pays big time. KD from the Wealth Wells. All right, so today, guys, we had an awesome day in the market. And what we're trying to ascertain is, are we able to really predict the future? And are we ab really able to set the targets and then know where the market is going? What's up, everyone? KD for the Wealth Wells. Do yourself a favor. Click the link below. We're going to recap our trade and we're going to talk about a couple key levels to see how the week has been going for us right there. So... In our, I'll get right to it, inside of our private channel, we release the levels every single day. Here is the Discord channel, right here. Let's bring that up for you. All right, so in the levels channel, we've got our levels, but I want you to pay attention today, right? You can see, here's here's the date. You'll see the date, the time, all that cool stuff. It's right there before the market opens, as usual, right? We got our, our, our levels there. You guys know what time. Um, I'm going to post those, all that stuff. All right. So let's read the thesis together. Then we're going to talk about the weekly prep. Now, the purpose of this video is to help you understand pre-market prep and to develop a trade execution plan, plan with predictable price action. The, the idea is for you to like start to learn how to see the future a little bit and uh, have some predictable price action, right? Um, so anyone who's trading with me knows my I don't use lagging indicators. I'm using levels, the pillars of the market, volume, volatility, price action, this VVP trading system that I've developed. And that is what I teach traders. All right. So with that in mind, let's look at our uh, thesis for today. We're sitting at our first target, 4339.25. These are futures levels, by the way, not SPX, futures. I expect the market to chip around. Watch for a pullback up to 436750. This will be our range. Ultimately, with geopolitical news and market data, we know what, what our market data and market print is going to be like. Go watch our weekly market prep video here, and you can fact check everything and my target. That's what I really want you to pay attention to. How does this guy know two and three days ahead of time, right? I'm going to show you, all right? Take the training. It's not a secret. I'm not trying to hide it. You can you can watch it, but you got to learn how to do it. It's no one trick pony. All right. I continue here. The market will break beneath um, four three three nine at two five down to what? Four three thirteen fifty four three oh six dot two five. I'm looking to trade the aforementioned range. So I'm going to be in this range here and here until and this is pre market, of course, and uh, stated above until we break out. Now, once we break beneath there, right, I need volume to shift beneath what? It's right there. Thousands of people to see in the Discord. 4339.25, all right, for this thing to move more aggressively in the down to the downside. Otherwise, it's levels, baby. So here is the trade thesis, right? Again, we're talking about predictable price action pays. You need to get to a point in your trading where you can predict where this thing is going. And the only question is when. Now, I did another video called I'm Not Wrong, I'm Early. Pause the video now and just go watch this video. I'm not wrong, I'm early. You'll understand uh, you have this age old problem of saying, I think it's going to go there, but you're too early. Then you got to sit through drawdown and you, your contract kind of does some funky business there, eats away at your profits, etc. You want to be able to get in when that thing breaks out. And we're going to talk about that today. All right. We're going to talk about how that looks. All right. So, uh, again, watch the, the weekly prep video. And in that weekly prep video, we said some interesting things about the market and uh, kind of what we would get and how it would break down. All right. So the overall target was that 4306 area. All right. So how about we do this? Let's go look at our trades um, for today and let's take a look at what we what we came up with. All right. We trade in the private channel today. If you want to trade in the private channel, that's tiered access. Come on. Come on in. Take it seriously. Get the training. Get the continuous education, trade discussion, trade recaps, swings, all that cool stuff. Um, we'll talk about a little bit of that courses, all that cool stuff here. All right, so here's today. All right, so right out the gate, you know what? Let me let me bring this to the side here, and I'm going to bring today into focus, right? All right, now here is, let's go down to the five. 
all right and you know what my apologies let me put on uh, SPX here for you all right cool here we go here's the day and this is a beautiful example of areas of interest volume shifting and the VVP indicator now out of the box the VVP indicator is going to have VWAP on it now it is the only lagging indicator I will allow uh, I won't say allow but I can tolerate and so you can turn it on and off all right I've done no changes to the indicator it just this is how it looks all right now I took a loss out the open and we'll talk about that because you know you know when I win you know when I lose and then I'll talk to you about my strategy a strategy that you can adopt when I take a loss or when something is off how I recoup those funds or that loss and then go on to bank all right so here we go all right so at 931 I am in puts okay so if we were to go right here to killer wells and we would scroll up to today at 931 on the live on the mic and in the channel here right I also do live screen shares for training two times a week right um, you're going to see that's a continuation uh, PT Matt that's that's let's see it here we want to see our our yeah, all right, right there 931 inputs and my risk to reward this is where my stop loss is now why did I take this trade all right so uh, let's keep that 931 I took the trade because I noticed some sell pressure around the market and I believed we would get a deeper move to our level that's all I was looking to scout was that first move now here's the thing it did go into profit it did go into profit but I did not get the continuation and the buy up was too fast for me to get out in profit right um, what a good feel when you when you are on SPX and this thing whips on you like that or the buy up happens you're gonna get a poor feel up here right so you gotta let it settle so I had to just let it settle and then it, you know ultimately I had to get out that trade uh, when we came up to 438 right so I mean if we're looking at it you know 4308 is right there right where my cursor is see the line so <clears throat> we break out here boom we're in profit it goes down here I'm expecting it to move a little bit more I didn't want to so I just, you know, 4308 when we when we came here, took a small loss on that one, right? No big deal. It happens about well, once or twice out of 10 trades, you're going to get that. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to eventually get the trade. You're just early to the trade, which is a poor trade, which is wrong. Something is off or simple traps. They happen, right? But you have to trade what you see. All right, remember that. All right, so after we take that trade, we're sitting on our hands. And at 1049, I get the breakdown, the reattempt. This was the move that I was expecting here. So we come back in right around this 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 area right here as we break down in this five minute candle. So as we break through, I'm in here, same trade, and then we get the further breakdown, right? Now, this trade was a three day, this trade was a zero. Here is a strategy for you. All right. If you're if you're not money hungry and you and you just chill, your first two to four trades should be three to five DTE. Now, if you have a or longer DT. Now, if you have a pattern of doing that, uh, you'll make some good money, but you you won't make a whole lot on those couple trades. That's not what that's not what you're trying to do. What you're trying to do is take your you know practice a good risk to reward risk management strategy, and take your trades to your targets to get the profit. That's what you're trying to do. All right. After you get a little bit of profit in your mojo working, as they say, then you can switch down after your two your second, third, or fourth trade. When I come into the market and I take a loss out the open like this, it's typically because there was a shift in volume, something was missed, or just whipsaws or some, some funny action, maybe low volume chipping, right? Just a trap. This is a simple trap. That's all this is. I expected a deeper pull, a deeper um, retracement, as you you could say, a deeper a drawdown. We didn't get it, right? Looking for just right there is all I'm looking for, right here. I'd have, I'd have taken it right here, quite frankly. We didn't get it, but then we, we start to reattempt. Now, this is a certainty, right? Because it's falling in line with my thesis. I had to wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and here we are. So this one, I go into a zero, um, 10 contracts, we get about 5K on this trade right here, right? Now we're cooking. And at this point, we're falling in line with my thesis. Again, if you go over to this channel right here and you can go rewind the video, you saw my thesis. You know where we're heading, right? Four, three. 13 4306 it is inevitable the question is off of what price points will we reject right so 10 12 we begin to um, fade this thing again right grab some more for continuation we take it 
And then 1051, uh, we also take this thing to the downside to, to, to 1130. And then to the back side here, uh, we, we, we continue to scale and trail this thing as the, as the market kind of moves on throughout the day. All right. So ultimately, you know, we hit our target, right? Here's our target right here for, let's see where you at. Uh, go over to ES. All right. There we are. Big old area of interest down here, right? Share these these areas of interest. I did, I talked to you guys about what's going on. You can see the buy volume down there. You know we're going to be pulled there like a magnet. You know there's going to be a buy when we get there. And look where it look where it is. Four three thirteen first target. So once you get to there, you can lock in profit. You want to milk it a little bit more. Would you look at that four three oh six? I mean to the T. Again, watch this video. You can keep me honest. You can see if I know what I'm talking about. You can, you know, rewind it, whatever. It's it's out there for the public to see. So there's there's no faking that, right? You can't make that up, right? And we ultimately got the move uh, within two days. All right. So uh, that's how, uh, that's the trade we've got. Now, now here's the question. Let's do one lesson learned as I wrap up. All right. We're talking about predictable price action uh, pace, right? So how do you predict that? How do you understand that? Well, one way is by understanding areas of interest, areas of interest. Now, areas of interest, I, I have a training on that. If you click the link attached to the video, my latest training is just released yesterday or today, actually. KD set up my hammer trade. It is an excellent high 90 win rate. It'll give you a few trades a day that you can crush. And my setups are, are layered on top of my foundational training, which is here, okay? And if you understand the foundational training, when these when these present themselves, you, you just have to take the trade. You're gonna you're gonna win, right? You have to take the trade. Okay. So areas of interest is one of the setups. All right. So an area of interest here, I'm not gonna train you on it. You have to get this training, but it is an area where there's something, according to my system, that's going to happen there. Either as a magnet, either as a, either as a trampoline, volume shifting, whatever. And when you identify those major areas early in the week and you get confirm, uh, conforming uh, confirmation, conforming price action, uh, you're certainly going to come to these areas. And so these are, little, are usually going to be your six figure days and your six figure trades, right? By the morning, you should be anywhere from 30 to 50 K if you're trading lots of 10, 25, right? Now, later in the week, we're going to do some interviews. I, I, I encourage you to, to look at my future videos here of some other traders who are doing six figures, who I've trained, who I'm working with so that they can get to the next level. But uh, that's it, right? Came out of the day uh, to the low side. If you had followed just uh, one of the trades for the four trades that we took, not including our futures uh, scalps, uh, you, you would have came out of the day at $1,581. Yesterday, about another thousand bucks across just seven trades, just seven trades for the morning, that is. So uh, not bad. Uh, we had an excellent morning there. Many people, high five, six figures. It was a great, great morning there. And um, I'm happy to uh, recap this and provide that with you and, and give you the insights there. So what should you do now? Well, I would say just one thing. All right. Of course, come into the Discord, join tier three, come in here, right, and get training. Uh, of course, I tell you to, you know, read the testimonials channel here about what people are saying about this discord, right? And how they're, you know, crushing this thing. But here, here's what I tell you to do, really, to take your game to the next level. I tell you to spend time in the video training channel, go down to my channel here. And two things, get your mindset right. The podcast will help you understand the mental development side. And then, you know, free training is available to you. If you need some assistance in trading to, to, to learn my system and you want some help on your screen, which I use, get the indicators. I'll put some links in this video here. It's all there for you. We've got our 90 day day trading journal and some awesome, cool things coming out. So our latest, uh, our latest um, setup is out. Go get it right now, folks, to help you with your trading bite size training to help you with your trading to take you to the next level. All right. It's been a pleasure, guys. Let's keep crushing the week. KD for the Wealth Wells signing out.